just shot a hog too yeah. about an hour ago. And we thought we recorded that. We didn't, so I'm gonna see if we'll do something. He's dead right over there. The hog is dead yeah. over there. And then this bobcat comes out and we knew something was coming because the squirrel scratched yeah. crazy. Where do you think you hit him? There's no blood on this. You think you want? Man, he's right here. Dude, that's a monster. Monster. Freaking monster. You can't really tell he's a monster, but look. That's a big pig. Freaking, look at him. He's like a Russian boar. Doesn't have big tusks. Oh, yeah. Mine's Boom. Boom. The seeping wound. I think he was covering away. Yeah, he was. Well, we got him loaded. As you can see, that's not a small hog, is it, Matt? No. <laughs> Look at this thing. Beast. He's almost the size of the zook. Hey, I think it was that big. Hey. Is he gonna slide off? We need to somehow secure him so we don't have to worry about it. It's a big old boar hog. He said it looks good. All right, guys. So we have this huge hog right here, which I really don't want to clean. But I'm thinking about all the families that may not have money to buy a Christmas ham or turkey. So let's not be lazy. Let's go clean it and cook it and provide it to a family that might really need it. Look, they ruined hogs, did all this. They ruined land. Look at that. I can't even ride on it. They ruined properties. They're just so destructive. This is what hogs do all the time. grow big and they eat anything. I mean they eat anything. But I love it. I love it that we have these guys. But I just want to show you what they do. This is not a tractor. This is not a tractor that did this. This is hogs. Barely able to even drive. Right here. All the brown you see. Well, guys, we're not uh, going home empty handed. We have a hog right here, actually. And uh, he's a little big and I normally let them lay, but I can't know that there's people hungry out there that this can go to just because I'm lazy and I don't want to deal with it. Although, do they need to be eradicated or controlled? Absolutely. But we don't need to waste something that's such a gift to me that can feed the hungry. So we're going to try to load this thing by myself. I think I'm the only one here. I'll try to load it by myself and uh, see if we can take it home and do a little catch and cook and donate. So y'all stay tuned. Big. 
go like an armor plate right here. And he's got this mud right here so they can fight and their tusks don't penetrate. Now this guy doesn't have huge tusks, but they're very sharp nevertheless. And then they dig and root with these nostrils, right? I mean, with their snout. So let's keep cleaning this guy. It's uh, about 50s out here, so it's not terribly warm. Looks like he definitely has some Eurasian in him because of the because of the Razorback. But then you can see domesticated coloring in the feet. Wow. <laughs> See how strong they are? Dang. You know, I'm gonna need another one. It's pretty bloodshot, but. That's crazy, man. Get in and try to get as close as you can to get some of that neck meat off. See what I'm saying? Go along the spine. that right there. Yeah. Onion. I'm gonna start cleaning the grill. Taking oil. And all I'm doing is getting it full of oil. Make sure everything gets covered in this oil all over. Take these hog nuts. Take this prime rib rub. Put it all over. There's one. A little bit of beer on it. Season it real, really good. Rub it. Season. Backstrap. Backstrap. Gonads. Olive oil is already on there. Get these se the seasoning on there really well. And the backstrap as well. I normally like to trim all the silver off right here.
All right, guys, so here it is. It's really windy out here, so we're not gonna record very long, but I just wanna show you, we got the whole hog. Obviously, you didn't see the hunt, unfortunately, but you have it from, from field to smoker. We're gonna go ahead and pretty much use this whole hog and uh, go ahead and smoke it, and then we'll keep it posted on how it's doing. Here's the fire. Let's add a couple more lines, Jordan. You wanna give me some more? All right, guys, so what we gotta do is we gotta rotate this just because this is getting a little bit of crispy right here and it's going over this taller one and not really hitting these right here. So I gotta swap it out. It's looking pretty good guys from the woods today to the smoker to the homeless or people that are needy whoever is going to get this I like to do this for the holidays it's looking good isn't it yeah okay guys so here it is this is the hog that we actually shot today. Just want to show you that doing what I love and being just a little bit thoughtful about the needy, somebody that's going to need this meat. I, I could have easily dumped this huge hog that I normally do and wasted this beautiful meat that to me is an everyday thing. It's not really a big deal to me, but to somebody else, it's a big deal. And this means a lot to and so because of that it means a lot to me i just want to show you right here that just because i didn't get it on film and because he was a large hog i normally would leave him out there to just rot and get eaten by the animals but i decided that i was going to bring him here with me and i was going to smoke him and we're going to feed this to a family that's in need somebody's going to want this and appreciate this just look at this meat guys you can't just i mean I, I get that when it's a big hog. High caliber protein. Absolutely, when it's a, when it's a large hog, I get it. I get that you want to just leave it in the field. And I, I get that we have a, a big problem with them, but come on, how awesome is it that we can bring it from the woods, come home and be able to do something like this. And this is gonna be so meaningful to somebody that has, hasn't had a meal like this in probably either ever or a very long time. And it's the holidays and so we need to give back in any every chance we have and so this is a way for us to do this right Jordan? absolutely so enjoy it i you know enjoy being out there in the woods i enjoy hunting and so i might as well go ahead and just keep hunting and and help eradicate or at least control the hogs and, and feed the needy be able to feed the needy somebody that's gonna really appreciate this during the holidays looking good guys looking good I just want to thank you for joining me. I want to thank you for joining me on this Texas jungle uh, hunt of mine and just wanted to go ahead and I hope that this kind of spreads a little bit and that you guys can do stuff like this and give back to your community and somebody that uh, would, would appreciate this. So I just want to thank you. Thank you for supporting Texas jungle and being part of the tribe. Uh, if you would consider subscribing, if you haven't already hit that notification. So every time I come up with a video that you will be notified and you don't miss out on any of these videos. So, Thank you again. God bless you. God bless America. God bless the world. God bless Texas jungle. We'll see ya. 250, 300, slow cook. We're just gonna leave it in there for now. Here's what it looks like. So now it's gonna stay moist because it's covered. That makes sense? So it's not gonna dry out. Just wanted to show you how perfect this came out. Pretty much falling off the bone over here. So very, very nice. And it's uh, internal temperature is about, I'd say about 180 is what it seems to be. Meat is very nice, very tender and delicious. And this will go to some hungry family. So just wanted to show you how we cooked it. And thanks for hanging with us. And we'll get this video out for you tomorrow, hopefully. That's it.